have completed two units of our English Marigold Book 4 and today we are entering into the unit 3 and this class is your introduction class of second chapter of unit 3 children. So let's start today's class. So these are the pictures of bow and arrow and an archer. See, archery is the art, sport, practice or skill of using a bow to shoot arrows children. The word comes from the Latin word arcus. Historically, archery has been used for hunting and combat. In modern times, it is mainly a competitive sport and recreational activity. So children, before we start today's introduction class, I want to show you one video. This video is of Indian National Ranking Archery Tournament which was recorded in the year 2014. So, I want to show you this. Draws the string, releases the arrow quickly into the nine. After two arrows, it looks like both archers have shot. 9-9 nine, nine each, so both are tied up at 18 points. Vimil Biroli shoots her third arrow into a 7. seven. Now Madhu Vedwan will shoot her last arrow in the first set and shoots an 8. So what it looks to me from here is uh, Madhu takes a deep breath, now raises the bow and draws the string takes a strong aim, releases an arrow into a 10, that's a very good comeback for her, she shoots a perfect 10 on her second set, first arrow, Madhu Vedvan draws the string, releases the arrow into a 10 as well, that's a good uh, shooting from both these archers, Rimil Biroli now will shoot a second arrow, Takes aim, releases, and shoots at second 10. That's a very good shooting by both these archers. Now, both the archers finding the 10 mark. So, Madhu Vedvan now, as you can see on the screen, she releases arrow into a 7. So, that was a bad uh, uh, one arrow from her, but nevertheless, uh, she got two points in the first set. Rimmel Biruli will hope to finish off uh, in style, but she shows her 8 points, uh, which fetches her 28 points in the set. Now, uh, uh, nothing much uh, Madhu can do in this set uh, as she's uh, trailing by you know, a big margin. Even if she shoots a 10, she can't make up. She shoots a 10, but her total score is 27 against uh, Rimmel Biru 28. So, Rimmel. So, we have seen the video how two archers were shooting their arrows and how they score their points children so we may take it as a score but we should do it after taking the proper training children please don't practice this at home first when you will grow up you will take proper training and with the help of your coach you can practice this so promise me you will not practice it at home right now. Okay? Now we will see the Nasruddin's talent of archery children. Have you heard of Nasruddin Hosda children? Have you read any stories about him? 
Nasruddin is a person known for his wit. Wit means the capacity for inventive thought and quick understanding. Today, you will see the summary of a story about Nasruddin and his wit. Now tell me what do you see in the picture? What are the people doing? What is the man in the blue dress holding? All the people are looking at the man in the red dress. What do you think he is saying? They all are discussing about archery. So children, today I am introducing the second chapter of unit 3 which is Nasruddin's aim. One day, some people were talking about archery. One of them was saying, there is no match of archer like our chief minister. Nasruddin, the man in the red dress, was passing from there. He listened their words. They all were his friends. At once, he stopped there and began to boast himself. He told that there is no match of archery like me. My aim never fails. At once, one of his friends, uh, the man in the blue dress, took a bow and some arrows and told him to show his archery. He tried thrice to hit the target. But first two targets were missed as we can see in the picture. His friends started laughing. He said that those aim were not his aims. The next one will be his real aim. And finally, it hit the target. Before anyone could say anything, he said that it was his aim. So children, moral of the story is very clear that we should be wit like Nasruddin but we should not boast about anything like him. Just be honest and believe in yourself. So, it was the end of the summary part of this chapter, Nasruddin's aim. I hope you have understood the moral and the summary of this chapter children and you will try to read the chapter yourself. In the next video, I will help you in the reading part children. So, till then, have a good day. Thank you.